I was watching that TV show last night. That guy won a million dollars. How? Just general knowledge questions. Maybe you should try it. You went to college and stuff. You're not gonna need a million dollars when you're old. Hey, fan. What would you do with a million dollars? I would build a community pool. Oh. Coffee? No, I don't know. Where do you want to go? I want to go to the bathroom. Where are you going to go to the doctor? We are going to the doctor. We are going to the doctor. We are going to the doctor. بیبینم فکر نمی کنی ستاره اینجا جایش همیشه تا حال تغییر است؟ یعنی در جای خود نیستن؟ باید باشن نمیتونه نیست؟
نمیدونم در کابل تر نبود همیشه در جای خود میبودم ما همیشه در جایی که پیش یک کلکین سگرت میکشیدم میدیدم جایی که شب گذشته میماندیشون همون جمعی بودن یا تا یک بار تغییرش ندیدم نمیدونم در جایی که ستارا در جایش خود نیستن مردم چطور احساس امنیت میکنه سلام مینا سلام صبح بخیر دنیا نمیخوابه؟ آه نه ایره سلیم صبح پیش دروازه مانده چی هست؟ وقتی دفت نبره آنشون هست؟ هشت ماه شده منتظر هستی خسته نشدی؟ بله هم خب برو نمیخوابی جای زور رو بگیرم او زیاد به من شما رحمیت نمیده یک تا فیلگان وقت دکتر شهست است داده بود و شوهر ما گفته بود که ارزش پول بلیت قطار تو اونجا رفتن نداره ترجیح میتا پولش هم اصرف کنه بره نشتن پار که ببینه مینا پیرن آبیه من کجاست؟ او تو کدام در علموری آویزان است سلام صبح بخیر سلام من Can I leave earlier tomorrow? At what time? 1.30 p.m. Why? I have a doctor's appointment. Of course you can. Thank you. Want me to see if he has a friend he can bring? We could go on a blind double date? No. You sure? I think I will hit a blind date. You don't know anything about him, right? Nothing. Where is he taking you? It's a blind date, so we agreed upon a specific location. We're going to a Mexican restaurant. If it all goes well, eventually we'll even move in together. Then we can share the rent. Where will you put your mom? I don't know. I'll just get her an extra bed and put it somewhere, I guess. Do you have an extra bed? No, I only have one single bed. Hello? Having a single bed is very wrong according to the laws of attraction, because it doesn't invite the possibility of company. You should be sleeping in a double bed, even if you're sleeping alone. I can't fit a double bed in my bedroom. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish the chapter and then go to sleep. Good night, Donia. Good night, Jana.
I have an appointment with Dr. Anthony. Your name? Well, the appointment is not in my name. It's in the name of Salim Debiri. He made the appointment for you? No. Do you have an appointment card? Mm-hmm. But this is an appointment specifically for Mr. Debiri. I know, but he couldn't make it, so he gave it to me. I don't think that's possible. Why? Well, if someone can't make their appointment slot, they need to call us and cancel. Then we would allocate the appointment to another patient. I'm another patient. Yes, I understand. But there are other patients of Dr. Anthony's that would be given the appointment if there's been a cancellation. Give me a moment. To be honest with you, this isn't really the way things work. like a movie ticket where if you can't get to the 315 showing you give the ticket to your friend um, it's not like that with a doctor's appointment and Solium knows that very well I'm here to ask for something to help me sleep all right well Do you, you live in Fremont? Um, are you also from Afghanistan? Yes, I am. On the special immigration visa? Yes, I was a translator in Afghanistan. Well, <clears throat> the way it works, we have a certain number of appointments for uh, self-payers or uh, the insured, basically our paying customers. And then I have a few slots that I do pro bono. Uh, those spots are at a premium, and so we have to follow the protocol to make sure that it's fair for everyone. So the people who have been waiting or the people that are already in the system uh, get to see I'm me. here now. Well, I, I, I can see that. I, I, yeah, I understand you're here now, but there is a protocol that we need to follow to make the system work. I'm not leaving. Okay. Um, well. Let me just get some general information from you then. Um, name? Dunya Masudi. Uh, date and place of birth. 13th June 1996, Kabul, Afghanistan. And how long have you been here in the United States? Eight months. And um, did you work as a translator for the government or uh, was that private sector? For the United States Army. And how long did you do that for? I just found sleeping pills. How's your general health? Good. You have nightmares? Not so much. I can't sleep well. Do you have a lot of thoughts when you go to bed? You should just go see my palm reader. She never has a waiting list. She reads and understands people better than any psychiatrist. You know what she told me? She said that the reason I overeat is because I don't want to be like my mom, who's skinny. 
That's not pure psychology. I don't know what is. She can also clean karmas. I'm gonna go and get some coffee. I think a fun working environment is essential. I love coming into work. You know, my father opened this factory many years ago. And I used to come with him when I was a little kid. But then he stopped bringing me because I ate all the cookies all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I love the cookies. I ate so many. It was so much fun. Okay, I'll see you later. Figure it out, my school, Marco. I'm sure I'm injured with it. Casone or Madan, Keswarmo, Sokton, Lano, Tarkadan or Rafa. In Betterin, Sergermia. Tabo Shokun. Go ahead, take a seat. Okay, let's see what we have here. Tell me a bit about the situation in Afghanistan before you left to come here. Did you live with your parents, for instance? Mm-hmm. Do you have uh, pictures of your family you can show me? Do you have any family members in America? No. They're all in Afghanistan? Mm -hmm. You must miss them very much, I'm sure. Was your family ever threatened? They told them they would come after my little brother if I don't come back. Is any harm been done to your family? By that I mean physical harm? No. When you were there, was your family unhappy about what you were doing? I only did the work for the money and getting a visa to come here. Nothing else. Do you feel guilty? How do you uh, like it here? Is America what you thought it would be? I didn't think how it would be. I didn't even think about America. I just wanted to get out of there. I would have gone to Germany, France, England, 
El Salvador or anywhere. Well, there weren't many women that were doing translation work like you were doing in that sense. Uh, you're sort of a pioneer. So your family must be proud of that. I left, but they are still there. They have to hear people talk to them about raising a daughter who was a traitor. Do you think you were a traitor? I don't spend much time thinking. Why? Too busy with my social life. Salam Suleiman. فکر نکنم از استفاده کرده بودم میدونی ای چطور کار میکنم مرگموش؟ وحشتناک است سه روز در بر میگیره تا موش از بین ببره میفهمم اول شک میتش و بعد از او یک خون ریزی درونی بسیار دردناک ما استفاده نکردم ازش یعنی نتانستم بیز اون موش خورترک است ما رفتم طرف کار پس آن تر باز میبینیم من خوش I think I'm gonna stop with the blind dates. Why? It's not working out. I'm not meeting anybody. You don't need anybody. You need someone special. Next time you answer like a fortune cookie, I'll eat you. It happened once. No, it's happened a lot of times. It hurts. You have to keep meeting people. There is this other guy, the son of my mom's friend. He's recently divorced and she wants to set me up with him. Maybe I'll go. Did you accompany the army on missions? No. I translated on U.S. Army bases when instructions were being given to the Afghan soldiers on how to use new equipment and arms. Did you see much fighting, Donya? Several bases I worked with were attacked in different times. 
and that's fighting itself. How did you leave Afghanistan? On one of the evacuation flights after Taliban return. But I know I'm very lucky. How do you mean? One translator I work with was killed almost immediately after he stopped working for the U.S. Army. He was waiting for his paper to come over here. One of my friends, Payam, he was also a translator. He couldn't make it to the evacuation flights. I know I'm lucky, and I know they are unlucky. I've met with many former translators, and they have different reasons for doing what they did. But in most cases, they suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. And they're left feeling like maybe in some way they're responsible. And so they're haunted by bad thoughts, and nightmares. They may feel that they can't trust others, so they isolate themselves. Maybe it's just a sense of guilt that prevents them from talking to others and getting the help that they really desperately need. Do you know what post-traumatic stress disorder is? I don't suffer from it. I just have problem with sleep. If I had some sleeping pills, my problems would go away. I, I chose my specialization for a reason. I admire people like you who have stories to tell of courage and displacement. Guess which immigrant hero I love the most? White Fang. The dog. No, he's not a dog. He's, he's one quarter dog. He's three quarters wolf. I will give you a prescription for the sleeping pills, but I think it's important that we use these sessions to talk about some of these issues. Your genuine talent will find its way to success. Your financial outlook is great at this time. What's nonsense? She's dead. But she was also getting too old to write about the future. We are looking for someone else to replace her. Would you be interested? Mm-hmm. Important messages are a responsibility, consciously 
or unconsciously, they are going to act on the flux of things. They shouldn't be too lucky. They shouldn't be too unlucky. They shouldn't be too original. They shouldn't be too obvious. They shouldn't be too short. They shouldn't be too long. And so on. You got a point? I think so. The point is, my father and I built our factory according to a very ancient quote: "Virtue stands in the middle." You know, I love quotes very much. This is a small gift that I personally prepared to welcome you to your new adventure. Thank you. Open it. It is a head massager. I use it too. It helps me to gather creative ideas. Try it. You run it through your head, down to your scalp. It's a lot more fun if someone else does it for you. I would offer to do it, but it is inappropriate. Thank you. I've been in this business for ages. I've seen message writers come and go, and I learned one thing: the ones who stay are the ones who know how to talk about love. And the ones who are best at talking about love are the ones who love themselves. Do you love yourself? Yes. Then you should say it out loud. Okay. Now. I love myself. Good. The fortune you seek is in another cookie. Wise, right? Yes, very. Does somebody check what you write, or can you write whatever you want? I can write what I want. Then maybe you can use this、uh, opportunity as an exercise of sorts. Say if there's、uh, something that's making you happy or sad, you can unburden yourself by jotting it down on paper. Of course, obviously there's、uh, there's the fact that you got to make it fortune cookie friendly when you condense it down to one line, but、um, that can certainly be done. Perhaps it would make the whole thing more fulfilling for you.
Hem saçmalıyorum zaten. Hem olan olursa ekmeğini yaşar koyarım. Fekret koca açtı. من هم میتونم از قسمت اول ببینم من هم میفهم در مورد چی هست ششتت قسمت هست اگر به کس بگی این چیزا رو تماشا میکنم توی بلانی تو سمه میرزم تشویش نکن من از نگهدار خوب هستم کی برای تو پیغام میفرسته جانا هست تو نمیشنستیش چرا شوهر خوبی برای خود پیدا نمی کنی؟ هیچ لازم نداره دختر جوانی مثل تو با پیرمرد نشسته باشه و تلویزیون تماشا کنه پیرمردی مثل من آخرین بار دلت به یک مرد تپی چی موقع بود؟ یک دل می تونه برای کسی به یک کشور دیگه دلش بتپه میتونم نباید حتما برای افغان باشه میتونم اینجا جای کلانیست پر از انسان های مختلف و من نگو که از وقت احساس تنهایی نمی کنیم البته که میکنم معلومه که میتونی کجا رفتی؟ چرا قسمت های دیگه چرا میخوای ببینی؟ من رو به شک انداختی احساس میکنن که وقت خود رو زایی میکنن نمیفهم که سریال جذاب است یا زندگی خودم جذاب نیست How's your literary production going? Well. Bad. It's time to go anyway. I'm coming. Where's your mom? She's off taking photographs in the wilderness somewhere. She'll be back in a couple of days.
I've been working on a little project. I wrote some uh, messages of the type that you might find in a cookie. Fortunes. Of course, I don't have the technology or the know-how to do this on a computer, so what I had to do is get a sheet of paper and a ruler and a pen and write these all by hand and then uh, using a pair of scissors cut them into strips. It was a very satisfying arts and crafts project calming. They're all original. Have a look. A ship in harbor is safe, but that's not why ships are built. A ship in a harbor is safe, but that's not why ships are built. You see what it means, right? Yes. What a joy this exercise was. سریال چی شد؟ نمیخوام در بارش گب بزنم Daddy, I'm done. Can I have the fortune cookies now? Hmm? I'm done. Can I have the fortune cookies? All right. You will travel to many exotic 
exotic places in your lifetime. Cool. You better take me too. Okay. Let me see what mine says. I'm just a kid, so how could I not take you? Well, it's been done. Some pursue happiness you created. <laughs> Cheerful letter or message is on its way to you. Oh! Wow! Come on, you have a whole sequel. I love. More. Let's see. The guo guo. Ah, the guo. No obstacles will stand in the way of your success this month. Perfect. Ni. Oh, so now it's月头啦，咁你要趁早啦。You deserve to have a good time after a hard day's work. Like this. Yeah, right. Yeah. Your friends will be truly helpful in your next month's endeavor. Hey, uh, I lost all your hope, buddy. Hey, there's a guy who has no address. I'll give him to the Xuanzi of the Sun. 我唔可以再信你。唔再信咯？点解？因为你去信我唔相信嘅人。人系后生女嚟噶，系咁噶啦，你知啦。我唔知道，我好似佢咁年纪已经嫁咗人，生咗 B B 啦。咁你想我点啊？我想你炒咗佢。梗系唔得啦。点解唔得？系佢系做错咗嘢，我系同佢讲噶啦。你知唔知啊？好多嗰啲好叻嘅作家，都系唔守规矩、自把自为噶。你唔係講真啊嘛？你唔好咁認真好冇？你又點知佢會係個好作家？我梗係知啦，佢係個有故事嘅人嚟噶。你可唔可以冇咁誇張啊？就係、是、有故事嘅人先至可以寫得啲咁好嘅嘢噶。唉，費事同你講，俾我。How's it going? Well, what city in Afghanistan were you born in? Kabul. I was born in Shenzhen. I was just looking at the world.
in Afghanistan, you have many different people, right? Yes. In China too. Did you know? China and Afghanistan share a border. Did you know? Yes, I did. I think people who share borders share many similarities. Us, we share a border, so we have similarities. It's okay to feel lonely sometimes. It would be very strange if people did not feel lonely. If they did not think about other possibilities. About other people. دارستی؟ آه به درستم ما فکر کردم دوای خواب گرفتیم آه من هم اتوانم بازم خواب شدم گه اوقات با فکر کردن به چیزهای خوب احساس گناه کردی؟ ما وقتی به چیزهای خوب هم فکر نکنم به احساس گناه میکنم به وسایل احمقانه چی؟ چطور یعنی؟ یعنی که حامل در کابل هست و جانشان در خطر است و ما اینجا به دوست داشتن و عشق فکر کنیم عشق شدی؟ خیلی نیه این موضوع نیست تا وقتی که قلبت بار رنج های تا بکشه و گذشته و مردمت فراموشت نشه و به یک انسان پس تبدیل نشی عاشق شدن حق است اما عاشق یک آدم پس هم نشی ناوقت است دنیا اول عاشق شو باز در مورد این چیزا فکر کن شب خوش شب بخیر most uh, afghans i know who live in fremont work in fremont why do you uh, have a job in san francisco i thought it would be good to be out of fremont half of the day i wake up i see afghans I go to sleep, the last people I see, they're Afghans. And I thought it would be lovely to see Chinese people sometimes. You don't enjoy being with Afghans? Some of them, yes. Some of them, no. Let me tell you a little of the story of White Fang. Uh, Wai Feng is the sole survivor of his family who were decimated by famine. And so he has to learn to navigate the harsh reality 
of the North, which is kill or be killed. None of his experiences prepare him for his owner who turns him into a vicious killer. This cruel man has him fighting other dogs to the death. And it's during one of these fights that White Fang meets his match in a bulldog who nearly kills him. Fortunately, he's rescued by a man named Scott who takes White Fang in and tames him, brings him back to California where White Fang learns to love Scott and Scott's family. Now, eventually, uh, White Fang has puppies with uh, Collie, uh, Scott's other dog, and they live happily ever after. He didn't think these things, Donya. He merely did them. He wasn't directed by abstract reasoning, but by instinct, sensation, and emotion. What's the meaning of decimated? Wiped out, killed, destroyed. You don't have to eat anything. You don't have to eat you <laughs> خودت رو منزایی نکو این تنها مشوره است که برد دادم ایتانم تو فکر میکنی مادرهای غمگین بچه های غمگین به بار میرن من هم ایفام من در مورد مادر بودن هیچ چیز رو نم ایفام I can sell you coffee if you like. Okay. Milk? No, thanks. Sugar? Black is fine. Are you happy working here? Yes, thanks. That'd be $2.50.
Hello? I think I have a blind date. I got a text message. When did this come about? It's a long story. Well, this is very unexpected. Wait, read me the message. I'll tell you if he's legit. It's a man, right? Sounds like he is. And you're intimate, right? I think so. Yes. Read me the message. Okay. He says, I don't know if you are still available. Good. He's polite. I would love to see you at the Asia Blue Pottery Shop, which is on 70 Avenue, Bakersfield, on Saturday afternoon. Okay. This is getting better. If he wants to meet somewhere public, he's not a creep. And it sounds like maybe he works at that pottery place, which is great too, because it means he has a job. So maybe he's a potter. He says, ask for the deer. What? He says, ask for the deer. Someone who has the nickname deer can either be very arrogant or very hot, or both of them. Or none of them. I'm going to lend you my mom's car to go to Bakersfield. It's a few hours away. I don't know if I'm going to go. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are definitely going to go. White Fang. Uncompanionable, solitary, morose, scarcely looking to right or left, redoubtable, forbidding of aspect, remote and alien. Was accepted as an equal by his puzzled elders. They quickly learned to leave him alone, neither venturing hostile acts nor making overtures of friendliness. If they left him alone, he left them alone. A state of affairs that they found, after a few encounters, to be preeminently desirable. In midsummer, White Fang had an experience. Trotting along in his silent way to investigate a new teepee, which had been erected on the edge of the village while he was away with the hunters after moose, he came full upon his mother. He paused and looked at her. He remembered her vaguely, but he remembered her, and that was more than could be said for her. She lifted her lip at him in the old snarl of menace, and his memory became clear. His forgotten cubhood, all that was associated with that familiar snarl, rushed back to him. Before he had known the gods, she had been to him the center pin of the universe. He's a very brave dog. He's a wolf. <laughs> I relate to him, just like he wasn't accepted by the other pups <laughs> because he was a wolf. I was never accepted by the other translators because I'm a woman. I was separated from my mother too, when I was forced to come here. It's a very touching story. I'm, I'm glad you love the story as much as I do.
till och mot här. Så. I'm Dunya. You're so kind. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. I'm good with anything you can order for the both of us. Lana T. Hi. So uh, you need a hand? No, just checking the oil. You can manage? Yes. Hi. Uh, you sell oil here? Yeah, no, no need to buy. Can you help me? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. You know how to use that dipstick, all right? Dipstick? Dipstick, yes. That right there? My brother taught me how to check the oil, but I never had to change it. 
Well, it's all done. There's some oil left in there. Thank you. Dipstick's also an idiot. It's, uh, I mean, the, the word dipstick means idiot. Uh, can I leave the car here? I'm gonna get something to eat. Sure, I was about to go get something to eat myself, too. Where are you from? Fremont. Where are you headed? I'm going to Bakersfield. Your accent doesn't sound very Fremont. I'm from Afghanistan. You studying? I'm a writer. I've never met an Afghanistani before. Afghan. An Afghan. You're, you're the first Afghan of me. You seem like a friendly people. <laughs> we are. I'm just not a good example. I'm, um... I'm alone all day, so that's why I talk so much during my lunch break. Actually thinking I should hire someone so I can have someone to talk to. I am actually thinking I should hire someone. Never understood how a, a single mechanic can bear the responsibility on his shoulders, you know, deciding if a car is good to go. All responsible jobs, they're performed in twos. Right, you think of uh, airline pilots or, or surgeons. Cars carry lives. What if one day I'm a bit distracted or in a very bad mood? True. Sometimes you just want to be alone and eat your sandwich, right? I have something I have to do anyway. Um, can I offer you a cup of coffee? I don't drink coffee. Thank you.
I'm not really a writer. I just write fortune cookie messages. And usually for a Chinese restaurant. I don't eat at Chinese restaurants very often. I, uh, I'll usually eat my lunch here and uh, oh, for dinner I'll, I'll eat here too. How much do I owe you? What's on the house? If you ever come back, it'll be on the house too. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. And you. Welcome to Asia Blue, may I help you? I'm looking for the deal. One second. You work at the cookie factory, right? And the owner of the factory is a friend of my boss. She told me you would have came today, but she'd been postponing for one month and didn't want us to deliver it. She didn't want to pay delivery fees. Wrap it up.
I brought you a deer. I really wanted one. Coffee?